Imagine you're me for a second, I'm traveling internationally. I'm at the airport in the morning on my way home after a week and a half of business trips, traveling through two countries. I've already checked in, dropped off my luggage, cleared security. It's 30 minutes until we load the aircraft and I got time for breakfast because I kind of busted it out of the hotel in the morning. Didn't really seem to have time for breakfast or didn't make the time anyway. Reach into my pocket because I'm going to go into the restaurant just to check for my wallet because I had some U.S. cash in there and I just wanted to see how much was in there. No wallet. Oh my God, that frantic grabbing around, checking all my pockets. No wallet, no passport. Oh my God, what an idiot. I can't believe it. It's 30 minutes until we load. I'm traveling with Karen and I don't have my stuff. Like I've traveled lots. Can't believe I did this. And all of a sudden it occurs to me, yeah, I left them in the safe, in the hotel room. Oh man, so I just like, on the outside I'm like, you know, it's like, okay, it's cool. It's cool, we'll deal with this. And on the inside, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I was so stupid. But you know what? I never, I never use the safe. I always just like carry my stuff on me and I thought I'd be different this time and use the safe and we checked out, but it's not my habit, right? Left all my stuff there. So it's like, okay, it's emergency time. Go talk to the boarding agent. Yeah, plane's on time. If we couldn't make this flight, would we be able to get on another one? Doesn't look like we would be able to get home until the next day. Oh my God. It's like 25 minutes. I'm not gonna be able to get back to the hotel. So just for context, this is, we're at John Wayne Airport, Karen and I, coming home from Marketing Impact Academy with Team Johnson. We're staying at the Hotel Irvine. Beautiful hotel, uh, about 15 minutes away from the airport, pretty close, but still, like I gotta get on the plane in like 20 minutes, right? So it's like, oh, I gotta figure out what to do. And I just, I tried phoning the hotel, no answer. Tried phoning the hotel, no answer. Karen says, let me try phoning the hotel. So she phones. They answer, they answer for her. <laughs> anyway, she explains the situation and she comes up with this brilliant idea that why don't we ask that the shuttle goes every half hour and it's gonna leave in five minutes. Could they get your wallet and your passport out of the safe and have the shuttle driver bring it over? The same guy that just dropped us off. And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. And they say, yeah, yeah, we'll try to do that. We'll phone you back in five minutes. So phone back in five minutes and uh, security is talking to me and he's got stuff. He says, he's got stuff and I'm gonna give it to the driver. He'll send it over. Where do you wanna meet on the upper level? Departures? Okay. Let's go out there and meet the driver. So I go back through security out there and I'm just like, I can't believe I was such an idiot. But you just, you, you know, I'm usually so prepared. But it was a different habit and I'm just not used to it. So anyways, I'm, I'm waiting and I'm just thinking, you know what? It's okay. We're, we're staying with a great hotel. We're working with good people. We always, our, my team is going to bail me out like they do so often. And you know, they're, they're going to cover and they're going to help us be successful. So just try to think confident and, and uh, positive like that. About uh, 10 minutes later, the shuttle driver shows up and he pulls over to give me, uh, to give me my stuff. And here's the thing. Like we had phoned over and said, oh, I lost, like I left my wallet and I left my passport there. Um, and so that's all I was expecting to get. Two things happen. The shuttle driver, first of all, he's sitting there, he's holding a bag, like a big bag of stuff. I didn't just leave my wallet and my passport. I left my iPad. I've got a bunch of tech stuff that were gifts from Team Johnson. Um, I left those in there. There were some travel folders that I had from my trip to Montreal and uh, Ottawa that I was doing with the Canadian government. 
Oh, anyways, they grabbed all of that stuff, put it in a bag. And here's the other thing. The shuttle came, he didn't even have any passengers. Can you believe that? He didn't even have any passengers. Like, he could have just stayed there, but they knew that I was really in this situation. He drove with the, the bus empty just to bring it for me. So, I mean, what a fantastic organization. I definitely gave them cash reward, both for the security people at the hotel as well as the driver, just to, you know, share a little bit of gratitude for they totally bailed me out. But uh, Karen and I said, you know, like, we really got to give a shout out for Hotel Irvine and all of their staff. I mean, fantastic. If you're ever in Orange County, California, definitely highly recommend you stay there. I mean, first of all, it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel, great location, right close to the airport. But man, oh man, like in a time of need, you know, when you really need somebody and they totally bust it, like in five minutes, they had my stuff and on the way. That's service that's uncommon and it needs to be recognized and thanked. So I thought the best way I could do that was to do this video, share it with everybody I know and let you know Hotel Irvine, they're a great place. And thank you so much, you guys. You totally, totally saved my bacon. <laughs>